hi guys <laughs> welcome and welcome back to the channel if this is your first time being here thank you so much for stopping by and thank you for clicking on this video today is day three of my three-part series where i show you different ways in which you could um decorate your tumblers in day one we used infusible ink and this turned out absolutely beautiful i'm gonna leave a link to this video if you're interested to see how I designed it and how I put it together. Day two, we used infusible ink markers. This is a fun project that you could do, especially with your children. So this is the second part. And today we paired infusible ink with photos to make this photo tumbler. Now this is how mine came out. This is the infusible ink that I used. So this was the only one I had on hand. So I used the purple one, but I'm sure you, if you're gonna do this project, yours is gonna come out so much better and so much prettier than mine. So this is the result. It says, boy, mom, the only issue I had with this tumbler was it seemed as if my heat, my press my heat press was too tight so it gave a little issue there but i'm gonna show you how i designed it in cricut design space and how you could get the photos inside the tumblers now if that is something you are interested in do not forget to give me a thumbs up do not forget to subscribe and turn on that post notification bell so you'll be notified each time I make a video. So let's get started in Cricut Design Space. Okay, guys, we are in Cricut Design Space. The first thing I want you to do, I want you to go over here where it says shapes and you're going to get a shape. Now, in my two previous videos, I showed you how to take the measurement of your tumbler. So I'm going to take the shape and I'm going to click on, I'm going to go over here where it says shape and I'm going to click on square. So the square that I'm using is not the, um, the cornered one, it's the regular square. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this square and I'm going to open the lock proportion. So go up here where it says size and open the lock proportion. Then I'm gonna change the size to the side of my tumbler. So in width, my tumbler is 9.375. Gonna press enter. And the height of my tumbler is eight inches. And I'm gonna press enter. Now this, let me take my view down. So this part of the, the, the tutorial is going to serve as my infusible ink. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back up here where the lock is and I'm going to lock the shape because I don't want it to move around while I'm manipulating it. Now, this is the infusible ink part of the tumbler. What I'm going to do before I go and get the pictures that I'm going to use for this tumbler, I'm going to go ahead and add my writing what I want this tumbler to say. So I'm gonna go over here where you see this T for text. I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna type the word boy mom in all caps. Okay. Now what I want to do I want to, let me take this over here because I'm gonna show you what font I'm gonna use. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go over here where it says font and I'm gonna change the font. So I'm gonna go here where it says Cricut Sans because it's automatically gonna be defaulted to Cricut Sans and I don't want that font. And I'm gonna go over here where it says systems and I'm going to use a font that I love very much and it's called New Hopes. I've used this font in so many different projects. I really like it, okay. So you're gonna see that the font changes here. Okay, 
So the font changes. Now let me take this out the way just a bit and let's work on the font. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to manipulate the spacing. So I want the mom to be closer to the boy. So I'm going to go up here where it says line space and I'm going to press the arrow key down. And what that will do is it's going to bring the letters, the words closer to each other. Okay, that looks good. Now, what I'm going to do, I am going to rotate this. So when you rotate it, you just click around the corner and you're going to see the cursor is turned like a curved arrow. And I'm going to rotate this. 270 degrees okay so i'm gonna go ahead ensure that it is at 270 degrees and i'm going to stretch it out now i'm gonna change this font so that you see what i'm doing i'm gonna change this font to a blue okay <clears throat> Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to position this so that it is in the center. And if you notice, I want it a little bit closer, so I'm going to keep bringing it a little bit closer. Okay, that is fine. Um, I'm going to center it. I'm going to position it soon, but I just want to have an idea of how it looks. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go get ahead and get the pictures that I want on this. So I'm going to go here where it says upload. Okay. So let me take it down to 25% so that you see what I'm doing. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to click off. And then we're going to have four different pictures. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I want these to be in the shape of hearts. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to grab a heart. These are big, so I'm going to take them down. Okay, guys. So these are the pictures I'm going to use. I'm going to take my view up because I wanted to see what I'm doing. So I'm not going to work on this now. I'm going to work on the pictures. Okay, so what I want to do is I don't want the whole body of the the um my children, but what I want to do is cut out their picture in the shape of a heart. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to take the heart, I'm gonna ensure that the picture is sent to the back, and I'm gonna just drag it. Okay and um this is enough okay and what i'm gonna do i'm going to select the picture and the heart and i'm gonna go over here and i'm gonna press slice okay so when i slice it out i need this and i don't need this so i'm gonna do the same thing for the other pictures okay so I'm going to take my view up. I'm going to take this um, boy mom away just for a little bit. I'm going to put it to the side so that I could work on the pictures. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to position these pictures on the square. So I, I position these the way that I want them. And they look okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on this picture. I'm going to press shift. And I'm going to press the square. And I'm going to go ahead and slice it out. When I do that, I'm, go I'm going to need this. Okay. And I don't need that. So I'm going to take this out. Then I'm going to send this to the back again. 
because the pictures went behind it. Then I'm going to click on the square. I'm going to press shift, click on the other picture. I'm going to slice. I don't need that one. I'm going to delete it, but I need the pictures. I'm going to send it to the back again. I'm going to click on I'm going to click on this picture. I'm going to press shift, click on the square. Go ahead and slice. And I'm going to do the same thing. Click on the image, click on the picture, press shift, click on the image, slice. Okay. And this is at this point, I'm going to size it so that it fits inside. Okay. So I'm going to size it down, let it fit inside there, okay? And this looks okay, and this looks good. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on both the square and the boy mom, and I'm going to attach those. The reason why I'm attaching those is because I want them to cut together. Now, this is what we're going to have. All we have to do is go ahead and make it. Okay, so we're going to hit on make it. Now what's, what's going to happen is the boy mom and the piece that we're going to use for the um, infusible ink is going to cut by itself. And then we're going to send the pictures to be cut um, we're going to send the pictures to be Cut, oh, to be printed on our sublimation printer. Okay, guys, so this is what we're going to have. This is the print then cut piece. You're going to mirror your image. For this one, you're also going to mirror your image. This is important. Mirror your image. Now, what I'm going to do I'm going to press continue. My machine is not um, plugged in at this time, but you're going to use the same setting, which is Cricut infusible ink sheets. And you could cut it on the default pressure, pressure but I cut it on um, more pressure because my blade is not so good. And for these, I'm just going to send it to my printer to be cut out. So I'm going to do that and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, guys, this is the infusible ink that I'm going to use. I'm going to use the purple one, the one without the pattern. And what I'm going to do, you're going to stick it to your light grip mat and you're going to use a brayer to keep it down. Now, this part is important. Always use a brayer to keep it down. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut it out and then I'm going to print the pictures and cut that out. Okay, so I'm going to cut out my infusible ink now. Okay, guys, so I went ahead and I cut out my pictures. This is the sublimation paper that I use. It's from a sub sublimation paper. Um, I went ahead and I weeded out my design. Um, now I'm not really worried about the paper that is inside the letters. All you have to ensure is that the outside, there's no um, oils on your hand to mess up the design. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna peel the pictures off the mat like this. And just like how you would weed out just as oh you will go ahead and weed out your um so just as how you would do layering infusible that's the same thing you're gonna do so i'm just gonna match the pictures where they're supposed to go so this one goes here 
it's perfect and then this one is the big one so it goes here okay guys so ensure that this side it's cut off all the way it's very important you do that sure that there's no papers because this is the part that goes to the bottom ensure there are no papers no plastic or anything on this side very important See, there's no paper, anything there. Ensure that that is there. Okay. If that happens, then what you're gonna find is that you're gonna have white in your tumbler, and you don't want that. Sure that you don't have any paper there. Okay, that looks good. And I'm gonna cut off the top and the bottom. Okay guys, remember to leave a piece of the thing on one of the sides. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna prepare my tumbler now. Guys, so the, the tumbler I'm using is from HTV Run. I really like HTV Run tumblers. Um, and what you're gonna do i'm just gonna link roll it now this part is important it takes off any lints of your design and what you're gonna do you're gonna take your tumbler ensure that it is right side up you're gonna wrap it like this okay ensure that the side that doesn't have the tape is turned down okay and then you're gonna pull it very tight okay see this will hold it temporarily until you have fixed it properly so what i like to do let me take this up just a little bit so what i like to do is just knock it so that it's flush with the top and then what i'm gonna do i'm gonna pull very tight Okay. I'm gonna pull it very tight <coughs> now the tape that you have there will help you to manage it see I'm gonna hold it down see that looks good okay you don't want a crooked tumbler so what I'm gonna do you don't need a lot of tape but I'm gonna take this down This looks good. I'm gonna run a long tape in the middle. Okay. Now at this spot, spot I'm gonna ensure that the underlap, I, I use a coin and I rub it down so that that underlap is touching the tumbler okay now this is important locate that under piece and ensure that it, it is it is touching the tumbler because you want the heat as much as possible to go there so i'm just rubbing that part just to ensure that 
that is nice and good. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wrap the top and the bottom and then I sublimate this. Okay guys, so I'm gonna sublimate this for 380 degrees for 60 seconds on this side. So I'm using a tumbler press. So I'm gonna do 60 seconds on this side with the seam facing me. Then I'm gonna rotate it 180 degrees, then sublimate it again. Then I'm gonna sublimate the top and sublimate the bottom. And then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay guys, so I'm gonna sublimate um, with it facing like this. for 380 degrees for 60 seconds. And then I'm gonna rotate it and sublimate it again for another um, 60 seconds. Then I do the top, then I do the bottom. Okay guys, so this is the tumbler we just went and did. Let's unwrap it to see how it turned out. of the tumbler you see all the ink came off yeah all the ink came off this is what we have the only thing i saw was an issue was here i don't know what went wrong here it's like i'm trying to look at the paper to see um oh see there's something that went wrong here with the paper i'm not sure what it is um, so it came out on the tumbler see that but other than that the tumbler came out really really nice it says boy mom these are the pictures really nice okay all right guys so let me know if you find any value in this video if you did give me a thumbs up do not forget forget to subscribe and turn on the post notification bell so you'll be notified each time i make a video until we meet again i'll see you in my next one bye